This just in, more than 100 students at Goucher College have been turned into zombies. You can see the bright bandanas on their heads. Humans become zombies if they are tagged by the creatures. Zombies can be neutralized only with Nerf dart guns or balled up sweat socks. In response to the menace, humans at Goucher are avoiding dining halls and other public areas where zombies might lurk. Here are two of the humans struggling for survival, Josh Harris and Alana Foglia. All right, thanks. Peace. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll shit. call you later. Okay, bye. Okay, we have to go. Um, I'll call John and tell him about that. Eight people out in the woods are guarding this windmill that we made Wednesday. Um, so the zombies just got noticed to find the windmill and destroy it. Well, at Goucher, it seems to kind of like take over the school, um, and I hear about people playing the game all over the country, so I, I'd like to think it's like huge, but I don't know, it's just a game of tag, I don't know. So basically what we're doing is send a team, see where that that camp clearing between those lodges, send a team of two people there, have them conceal their nerf guns under the leaves, get as low as possible, just stay low. Stop. Everyone get Alright, just wait till he gets outside. Okay. It's not meant as a commentary on school shootings, and students played it before school shootings were back in the media again, and they played it the same as after. You know, it's, a, it's obviously. You know, school shootings are a tragedy, and you know they they raise a lot of issues about our society and our culture. Um, but you know, to me, if you if you're going to compare sort of this game of tag to a real school shooting, that's just you know that's sort of the ultimate in political correctness, and you're you're looking for a connection that's not there. They're all here. I got it, I got it here. We got it coming. And we get a ton of support from our college president, Sandy Younger, who's very supportive of the game, and um, he's a great guy, and he places a very high value on individual, you know, liberties, and, and really um, gives us a lot of trust and respect to sort of do, do crazy things. <laughs> 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 Zach, Josh. Josh, go, 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 go! Ah! Who's alive? You're mine, Josh. Him, okay? All right. Kill me! Kill me now! Behind us! Behind us! Ben! 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 the south line like the whole the whole horde's here they got almost pretty much all, everyone i died eric died i guess they got lana i'm assuming that's what happened uh, i thought lana got away but she got away yeah. she'll probably what she'll try to do is she'll break over to the old equestrian field and try to slowly make her way back to the library it's a huge huge walk but you know if she can make it she'll be safe Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Oh! Yeah. It was amazing. And, you know, meanwhile, 
while I was running down that last little bit, my friend started calling me. So I got a little bit. <laughs> she doesn't really want to know if I'm alive or dead yet, but now I can promptly tell her that I died. So much fun. Now I can actually go to dinner. Mm -hmm.